Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back. So we're left on the coldest cliffhanger ever. Ilnan was given the coolest speech I've ever heard, man. I really hope they won that game of tug of war. It was the most intense game of tug of war ever. I'm assuming they won because if not, our whole cast is gone and we're <laughs> yeah. screwed. So uh, and we didn't know anyone on the other team. Guys, I'm so ready to get into this. Uh, let me know what you're snacking on when you're watching the October's. Do you prefer sweet, savory, maybe spicy? Hit us up on Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut reaction. I'm ready. Let's go. Let's go. A fair world. I still think this plan is crazy as hell. Risky as mess. Fall, fall, fall. Pull. <laughs> oh, no. Boy, we almost lost Dean Hunt over this plan. Right. I don't even remember their numbers, just their names. Mm. Poor guy. It sucks because then you have to do it to these. Aww. What? <laughs> yeah, but that was so sad. Yo, no, I'm like he was smiling, didn't he? Yeah. Hopefully they only have to do one though, right? Complete the challenge and move on. No, but like maybe yeah. what if you have to go against another team today? Oh. Well guys, back with some squiddly diddly. <laughs> Doesn't that suck to take a dub like that? You can't even be happy because it's... Hmm. <laughs> Damn, how long is this elevator ride? They're having a philosophical debate. I know. But she's the asshole in this situation, though. I know, just she's just instigating, yeah. Just like let him do his thing. Yeah, tell her, Bayak. This is wild as hell. They invited trouble in, huh? Snarky little girl. <laughs> they thought they were gonna lose. They didn't know we had the strap. Yeah, they got the ill nom. <laughs> the strap. Yeah, you better sleep with one eye open. Gripping your pillow tight? Metallica. Yeah, yeah I know. <laughs> I felt like that made my face itchy. All that blood splashing me. <laughs> well, I guess these ones you can't harvest their organs because they took a fall. I mean, some of them are probably art. They slipping and dipping. So that's probably one that they're harvesting. I don't want to see it again. I get it. Oh, they put a cross on the one. They're still alive. Matrix. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta watch that. Eden and I, 
이봐요 오빠들 아니 이런 족보도 모르는 외국애들 우리 팀에 끼워줘도 되는 거야? 어? Then you just join the 내가 이번 여기 대빵이 누구야? 오빠가 대빵이야? 여기는 그런 거 없어요 A politician eh? 병등사회 너 완전히 지가 무슨 왕인 것처럼 아주 내가 <웃음> 왜 쫓겨났어요? 오. 오빠 안녕 <웃음> 나 한민이야 쫓겨난 게 아니라 right. 내 발로 Sorry. 걸어 나온 거랑 또 레벨이 안 맞아서 당신만 버렸어요 체격 좋은 놈들만 뽑고 꼭 미리 안 것처럼 Yeah she made a whole scene about it 소등하겠습니다 <웃음> 모두 취침 준비를 해주시기 바랍니다 싸움이 벌어질지 몰라요 미리 대비를 합시다 여기 여자들이랑 좀 노인네께서 어차피 이 중에서 우리가 제일 약한데 약한 쪽을 골라서 우리가 먼저 칩시다 <웃음> 어제 싸움 났을 때 어떻게 죽었는지 알아? 자기 편인 줄 알았던 인간한테 목이 꺾였어 당신들 나 믿어? 난 당신들 못 믿는데 그래요 일단 지키는 게 우선입니다 바리케이트를 칩시다 쓰면 의지가 될 거예요 It's kind of crazy they're setting up little base camps in there because that's not a very complex room it's just a big open spot I know and they're just eating corn as a snack <웃음> He's my least favorite character, I think. Jasu? Yeah. Hey, Sangmundo! He's a man who's going to be a man. But... I'm going to be a man. 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 They're sword fighting in the background. I'm going to be a man. 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 It's like Survivor, but different. Yeah. Play Lord of the Flies or something. To be honest, I don't think I ever read that book. I think I had to. Yeah. What do you think? I'm going to go to the house. Why? I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. You're going to go to the house. Where did you go? I went to the house. I'm going to go. The hunch. Right, so we got our first little sniff of something going on, huh? But babe, I love what you said. It is kind of like Survivor, because you sort of get to choose how you're going to play it. Who you're gonna be? He might rub people the wrong way with all that leadership. Yeah, and they might go for him just because he's strong, and they right. Like, oh, since we know the next game, and you have to be strong. Got. He's gonna be tough when we get to the merge. Oh, 불 꺼질 거예요. 쉽게 공격은 못 하겠지만 걸어가면서 불천번을 섭시다. 두 명씩 한 줄로 해. 혼자 다른 편에 붙어서 우리를 배신할 수도 있어. 딱. 내가 먼저 할게. 늙으면은 잠이 안 오거든. 영감님. 어떻게 두 다리 뽑고 잡니까? Be nice. He just saved your life. 나 지금 안 졸려요. 그럼 다음엔 내가 할게. 나도 자네랑 같이 하겠네. 자네만 괜찮으면. 나 그렇게 하시죠. 99 sweaters. 오늘의 일과가 끝났습니다. 기하시기 바랍니다. Is Jinho a circle, right? Yep. He's number 29. 29. 이건 먹어요. 시간이 안 먹고 아껴둔 겁니다. 사장님 주려고. 이걸 왜안 먹고 온다 알죠? 오늘 사장님 덕분에 살았습니다. 감사하고 아... 싶었습니다. 내가 살자고 한 일이야. 사장님 차비도 좋습니다. 돌려줘야 합니다. Nah, Wu is just a nice guy. Corn up, Wu. <웃음> oh. 여긴 어떻게 왔어? 돈이 없어서 왔습니다. 형. 가족은? 파키스탄에 엄마, 아빠, 동생들 있습니다. 와이프랑 베이비 있습니다. 애가 있어? Yeah, remember? Yeah. Like the pilot episode is there. a very young baby. Yeah. 형은 왜 왔습니까? I hate this. All this for money, and now they have to do it for survival, though. It's not just money at this point. Yeah. I mean, everyone's personal backstory is going to be a lot more complex than that, I'm sure, when it's all said and done, but essentially for money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you better act right. I'll be like, can we go over the plans one more time? Because, um,. I got hit in the head and I forgot. Right, I'd make up a whole concussion story. <laughs> oh my gosh. Tiger Shoe. Huh, 이십구번. 이제야 나타나셨구만. 내가 따로 주의졌어. 어제 물건도 못 넘겼는데 이게 니들끼리 주의만 주면 될 일이야? 이제 직접 배달하든가 우리 같은 잠수부를 구하는 게 쉬운 줄 알아? 아직 항구도 못 끝낸 거야? 돌파리 양반 배달 시간 놓쳐. 매일 잠도 제대로 못 자고 죽을 거비 넘겨가면서 이짓 한번 해봐. Oh, oh, oh. I hope I'm not missing something with this story. I know they're like deceiving other players by sneaking these, but is it? That's not a favor. Well, kind of. Basically, I'm trying to ask, does the game master know about this? You mean geometric face? Man, woke up stressed. You blame him? Especially like, this how you wake someone up? 
뭐안 좋은 꿈을 꾸는 것 같은데. 같은데. Right. Yeah. 응왜안 주무세요? 이사하게 잠이 안 오네. 제가 잘 지키고 있습니다. 너 이사 놈은 아직도 안 왔냐? 잘안 돼요. 화장실 간지 언제인데? 뭐래? 잡아. Yeah, and then in between he has to do this. Like, oh, that's so. 저기 남은 건 내가 해볼까? 나고 이게 쉬워 보여? Not to mention this horrible lighting. 까지 죽인 돌파리 놈이. 아직도 자존심만 살았구만. 다 망쳐놨냐? 인간을 숙대 위에 올려놨잖아. 다 엉망된 거고. 이럴 수가 yeah. 없어. That is crazy, honestly, that they're still alive. Was this like a political protest or something we don't know about? Yeah, like a flash. It's a flashback, right? <웃음> Had to be. 무슨 생각을 그렇게 하나? 옛날 생각이 났어요. 옛날 생각? 예전에 다니던 회사에서 이렇게 바르게 헤이트를 쳐놓은 거. 네, 다녔는데. That's why he was so broke. Mm -hmm. Oh, he basically summed it up like a crazy overblown story. Mm -hmm. But it was personal to him. Yeah, because yeah. the guy even said his name like in his dying word. This guy's chatty. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jin Ho's talking his ass up a tree, ain't he? I was him, I would just shut up. He reached a little bit right there and got himself caught up. They're strict over there. On that side for sure. <laughs> the doctor needs to hurry up and get back. I'm actually kind of stressed about that. They done plan in some season in his head. And now they're not going to trust the doctor. They're going to beat him to death. Well, they need him now for the next game. It might be an individual game. Well, the fact that they used him last time to figure out the game, so now that he's missing and knows the game, that's even sketchier. That man took a hostage. Well, it seems like the boss knows about what's going on down there. Well, kind of. They delete the footage. Maybe to hide it from somebody else, though. Yeah, maybe to hide it from, like, a cop or something. Oh, yeah. He would have never got that on his own. Game <laughs> Back in the game. 
어떤 사람들이야? 신경 꺼. He's like giving him information. He would have easily touched that. I'm glad he stopped him. He stopped him calm as hell. I don't know. Like, whoa, 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 whoa. You know? Oh, chill, chill, chill. I'm right here. 29번. Uh-oh. Yeah, he's asking too many questions. But that guy doesn't need to not be a hero. Isn't this a crappy life? So they made this place like a maze, huh? Yeah, they made it hard. Oh no. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Locked and loaded, baby. I didn't know that guy. Wow. <laughs> Damn, that was a terrible way to find out. Oh, okay. I don't believe him. Babe, can you pause it for one second? I have a question. Do you think maybe the reason why he's stressed is because like they have like a certain order they have to hold, like the triangles? They have like certain circles they have to maintain and like certain things. So if if they mess that up. They're just as good as dead. Yeah, like the game maker said, everyone has to know their role and you better play it well. If not, like it shouldn't go up to him. If it goes up to him, they're dead because they can't even talk without talk being spoken well, to. Well, yeah, him. they're not just allowed to go up there and disrupt everything. Like, yeah. And the game maker or whoever, whoever's in charge might see it like if you guys can't handle what y'all got going on down there, this illegal organ harvesting, then we got to kill you because yeah, we, our secret yeah, will get we out. Can't, yeah, we can't risk that. That would explain why 28's like worried about 29. Because in my head, I'm like, why don't you want to leave? But maybe it's because they all die if anyone finds out anything. Right. But then the question is, why are these people participating in something like this? They must be like, they must hey. be like really in bad trouble or like soldiers. Right. Or maybe they're just down for the cost, whatever it is. Like maybe, it could yeah. be a cult. I don't know. Or maybe they get really a lot of money after or something. Maybe. And you might be right, the game maker might not know. Maybe not. Man, you gotta get shot, brother. That was terrible. I mean, you gotta do it, Jin Ho. But that might be really bad for Jin Ho because now he might, they might be targeting their whole little. Yeah, exactly. Their whole little sheep family. Your boy just went missing, just like you said, it's a big deal. Oh, I see, I see, I see. So they were just making money on the side. Shiesty. Oh man. I didn't expect the doc to go so soon, but hey, this is Squid Games. That explains a lot about the doctor questions I had. I was like, why would they just not keep a doctor on site? Well, that right. makes sense. Oh yeah, and it's all just got uncovered. So he might get stuck down there. That's the gunshot from earlier. Is that his chambers? The main guy? No. Yeah. That's the oh, is it really? to the whoa, moon whoa. stage. Sorry, I thought he was asking if it was his. No, nah, stay in there. And when he comes, get him.
28번입니다. 한 놈이 더 있어. 이놈을 죽인 놈. 이미 바다로 빠져나간 것 같습니다. 잠수통 개수가 그대로야. 아직 안에 있어. 찾아. I can see why he's in charge, huh? Because he ain't playing games. Yeah, he's witty. He's geometric and on site. <gasps> oh, he's gonna find out what kind of bully. Bullet. <laughs> Why'd I say that? <laughs> Damn, that was like some bad bunny right there. Not... That's his party mask. Yeah. <laughs> or maybe when they win, that's when he gives the money mask. I think that's for when the ladies come over. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like we're on to something in this round of Squid Games. Maybe it's never been like this far before. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. I'd be scared the door was going to lock behind me. Yeah. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. Are you going to walk into like a clamp room where it's like on you? <laughs> Nineteen ninety nine. The Squid Game's been going on for a long time. Answers. <laughs> we got some answers. I feel like I said a book. I, I saw a book that said ninety ninety two. I think that's what it was. I think I didn't. No big deal. Twenty nine is gone. Look. CCTV is not visible. Yeah, because they cut the security footage. Did he not know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were hiding it from him. Yeah. He thinks the doctor escaped. He kind of did in a way. Oh, stop being mean to him. Is it a finger? Man, in this show, I can't even guess. What's the winners? His brother? Probably? That's what I thought. This is probably when his brother went missing. Four years. So he won, which is even worse because he doesn't know where he's at. No. So I guess they're not getting the money. Oh, no, no, no. We can't start another episode. So basically they win for nothing. I mean, I guess so. That's what it seems or like to me. Or they get taken somewhere. I, I, have, I have more questions than answers in this one, man. This one was a lot of information coming at me. So basically the doctor went missing. So I was thinking ultimately what's going to happen is Jock Su is going to get really paranoid of the doctor because where the heck have you been? What's going on? Mm -hmm. I can't trust you. Bye. So I thought maybe the doctor wasn't going to make it through the episode. I did not expect the, what's the guy's name? Geometric face. I just think he's called the, I don't know. The, the game leader or whatever. Yeah. I didn't expect him to basically have him murdered like that. Uh, the game leader didn't know the match leader or the matchmaker or whatever. He didn't know that they were harvesting the organs, I guess, because they were hiding the video footage from him. But at the same time, when he discovered them doing it, he wasn't even worried about it. Well, but also his dialogue in that moment. I just want to point out his dialogue. It was very, how do you explain it? Empathetic, I guess, to the people during that moment. Because he was like, they don't, they have a harsh world out there. We try to make it fair in here. It's not very fair for them out there. So we got to make it fair in here because they get a chance. But in a weird way, it seems like they don't get a chance. Like they don't really win. But but in this game, you let him. I don't know. Yeah, it's twisted. It. I get what he's saying. He's basically saying in here, everything has to be equal. And that's why people don't talk. Everything's in uniform. He's trying to create like this perfect utopian game show in a way. Yeah. Or something. I don't know how to describe it, but it's very scary. It's very like, or you know. you know what? You know what it could be also? Maybe the people who win end up working for him as like a high. A high rank or something. Yeah. Maybe they get brainwashed by the program. Yeah, because maybe, maybe they realize like all the people around them kind of suck. And they like came and had this chance. So you think they're just like a bunch of revolutionaries in a way? I, I don't know. Is that what you're saying? I, I really don't know. They're ideologues. Th this thing's just throwing me off 100%. Like when I think I know a little bit, I realize I don't know anything. <laughs> Yeah, basically. Um, not much happened with the players in this one. We didn't get a squid game. We essentially got them winning in the beginning, which was horrific, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I hated to root for it, but I mean, you know. So we didn't get too much development. We're just paranoid to go to sleep at this point. Uh, Il Nam is obviously not, doing, not well. doing well at all. He accidentally wet himself sleeping, and it was really sad because he was so ashamed of it and embarrassed by it. Mm -hmm. Almost That's so why he didn't want to get up. He almost faced the gun opposed to getting up, but. Yeah, poor Nug. Yeah, I mean, it ain't his fault, man. It is what it is. Man, we've all peed for less, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> but, and uh, I guess the biggest thing in this episode, I'm sorry to interrupt no, you no, on no. this, on that, but was kind of Jin Ho and how much he found out. Like he found out 
so much stuff. He found out how long the games have been going, which we saw the 99. We saw, we thought that's where it started. But I saw before then. Yeah, I but saw the winners, like it was like, yeah, the yeah. winners was like, it was like 64 of them, it said. I could have swore I saw something that said 1992. I don't know. I was tripping. Yeah, it's been it's been going on for a long time. There's been a lot of winners, and I'm just scared that ultimately their, their winning reward is going to be getting shot in the face. Yeah, right. Maybe this person done overthought it. Maybe he thinks that they'd be better off. So there's like two kind of thoughts here. They could either die, they could do all this for nothing. And and the other thought is they could be a high rank in the shape family. <laughs> I don't know what it's called. The shape soldiers. Yeah, they could be part of the triangle, circle, square, X button community. Right, but I think they're they would have to be triangles. Yeah, maybe so. Um, other than that, man, we just got deeper into the layer. It turned out uh geometric face is keeping all this information deep in his penthouse. Look like a penthouse to me, didn't mm. it? And apparently that man has some, uh, you know, some layout issues when it comes to his his dormitory, to say the least, because that guy was able to just waltz right up in there. Right. So he has I, a secret cabinet. Like, what the hell? Yeah, basically. He's he kind of reminds me of uh, what's that dude's name off? What is it called again? The sequel to Game of Thrones. We just watched it. House of the Dragon. The one who sneaks off in the caves. <laughs> Damon Targaryen. He reminds me of him. He's just kind of a shady fella. So so we still the thing is, I used to think geometric face was a Caucasian, but I don't think that anymore, because when he was having that whole talk he sounded like asian to me right so it's kind of like where are you from what are you doing why right like, what's <laughs> going on here but yeah basically uh it's just been going on for a long time a boat comes catches the organs and i guess no that was the underground thing that just that little that we, little square fam that little shape family had going on right and i guess the game master just didn't care about it so no he did that's why i killed them all no he didn't kill him because he said i don't care about your your organ harvesting I, i'm not worried about that what i'm worried about is the fact that you just ruined the integrity of the game yeah but that's what i'm saying like it's hard to preach equality and all that while you're making people compete for money to murder each other like that doesn't make any sense to me yeah you a little twisted my guy it sounds like you're definitely at the top of the hierarchy that you seem to be railing against so let's go maybe you're part of the problem i'll put it that way all right let's go I can't pronounce this title, so I'm not gonna, but I'm gonna go with Jambu as a guest. New ball. Front man. But he's not even in charge. He's just the front man. Yeah, I didn't think of it like that. What if there's so many games? Plus one morals, plus one morals. But to be fair, Jihan treats that old man a lot better than he treats his mama. <laughs> Maybe he, when he like gets out, if he does, he'll do better. Yeah, hopefully. Mm. And they're headed into a game and they have to see that. To be honest, that's the least graphic thing they've seen yet. That's suck to see. Yeah, but I don't think picking shapes and not knowing what the game's going to be is exactly fair. I mean, it's fair in the sense that everyone's random, but it's still like rigged. Don't answer it. Do not. <gasps> we got to drop kick him. We got to. We have to. Frontman speaking. Yes, a minor disturbance has taken place, but it is being addressed. No need to worry. We will make sure no trace of it remains by the time the VIPs arrive. The game will begin on time, in line with the schedule. Someone's watching this, I think, at this point. And there's VIPs coming who are going to watch Yeah, they're this? just watching it like this. Oh, their pinkies up. Yeah. <sighs> That's so stressful. Like, you pick someone you know, you pick someone you hate. That's what I mean, like, they're trying to make this perfect, like, utopian world where everything's equal, but it's still not. I mean, you're having to work with someone. Not everyone's equal. You know, in Survivor, like, sometimes it could be 
where you pick someone and you're going against them or you pick someone there on your team. Right. That's scary. Or like, what if you're a girl and nobody wants to play with you? Right. I'm like, I'll sit out this one. Like real life circumstances taint what people perceive to be like completely fair. You right. know what I mean? You can't dial out, homie. He's so ballsy. Why would you pick that up and do that? <laughs> <laughs> that woman is just man hopping, ain't she? <laughs> what would you do? Who would you pick? Like if you're Jihan. Uh, Jihan. I mean, I mean I Obviously, Song Wu. He was like, no. You know who would definitely pick a girl and die? Pug. Pug from She-Hulk. I feel like this one's going to lean towards like women's traits though. Yeah, what if it's like have a bake a cake, y'all? Screw, 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 screw. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna have to pick Il Nam, isn't he? <laughs> and it's like tough because he that doesn't want to die want, either. No, he's smart though. Yeah. He knows how to win all these. You're gracious though. <laughs> I feel like it's yeah. about to be a 1v1 or something. I'm stressed. I'm <laughs> 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 He's gonna go work with Il Nam. Yeah, because he's gonna feel so bad. And that's gonna be tough because you don't know what the thing is. <laughs> I'm so sorry, Korean version of Nick Jonas, <laughs> but I can't play with you. No. Who is it? Jihan. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh no. <laughs> You know better than Zach. <laughs> oh no. That's part of the social game. You gotta be liked too. Every time she comes on the screen in my head, I'm like, let the bodies hit the floor. <laughs> Cause she's always getting thrown down, you know? No. That background music. Oh no. This room's the scariest looking one so far, I think. Because it's so realistic. It looks like a yeah. little town. Like what y'all got us doing? Playing house? Ali, we're gonna win. I'm gonna win. I'm going to 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 <laughs> 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 
동네에서 어릴 때 선수였어. Hell yeah. <웃음> 저도 좀 합니다. <웃음> 아 다행이네요. 또 힘쓰려고 싶으면 어쩌나 했는데. 네. 그러면은 우리 깐부부터 맺어야지. 깐부요? <웃음> 깐부도 몰라. 동네에서 구슬이랑 딱지랑 같이 쓰는 친구 말이야. 니꺼네 <웃음> 그 없이. 아, 깐부. 아 기억나네요. 그래. 그. So I friends in a way. Yeah. Okay, so Yeah, Are you supposed to take the marbles though? There's just no way. Did he not hear the instructions? And he's good at the game, apparently? Oh no. <laughs> Il Nam went ready to go, didn't he? They went all out for this prop set for such a simple game. Maybe it's like a street game or something that's common in, yeah. like they said, in a neighborhood. 가자. And they're like gamblers. And, 나랑 I don't know. He's about to give him three marbles. Oh my gosh. She said, I know North Korean. <laughs> I would like throw a marble and then try to hit that marble with the marble I have. And if you hit it, you get both marbles. Depends on my partner. I might just go, hey, we're going to have a fist fight. You're going to the marbles. <laughs> be a simple game. His house. He's going straight C now, right now. He's right. Oh. <laughs> that transition was cold. <laughs> Whoop his ass, Jacques, too. Just take him. That's what he's gonna do. Oh, man. That who? That who, though? That's probably the point of this exercise since you get to pick your game. Man, that stressed me out. That's so sad, isn't it? She just wants a friend. I I don't know who I want to win this because I love these characters. I don't want anyone. I don't want anyone to win or lose. Poor Ali. Okay, what is it? Oh, he has to give them both. I feel like all the losers are going to start fighting at the end of this. Besides Ali. Or maybe Song Wu. Jihan looked a little selfish there, but I mean, can you blame him? Right. It was a brick behind him. What if that's like the point of a prop? He's down to his last one. Oh no. 
새끼 너, 너 속임수 쓰지 왜 그래요? 네가 어떻게 계속 확률이 반반인데 야 쉽게 말이 안 되잖아 지금 이 상황이 제가 아무것도 안 했어요 새끼 너 아무것도 모르고 가면서 나 속인 거지 어떻게 속였어? 말해! Okay, never mind. I guess you're not allowed to be violent. Yeah. 가족은 같이 내려간 거야? 동생만. 부모님은? 아버지는 가족에 맞아 광물에 떠내려갔고 어머니는 중국에서 북으로 끌려갔고 동생은 어디 있는데? 보육원에. So she really is struggling, huh? Mm-hmm. 짝! 헐! 짝! 이긴 건가? 보셨어요? <laughs> Jeez. <sighs> That's half the name. Yeah. Oh. 까지 번갈아서 저 구멍으로 각자 하나씩 구슬을 던지는 거야. 한매 누우면 넌 사람이 그때까지 바닥에 깔린 구슬들을 다 가져가는 거지. 일발 역전을 노리시겠다. That's what I'd be trying to do. 졸리냐? 일발 졸리긴. Sinking ten. Already know. 구멍에 넣는 건 나도 좀 하는데. 괜찮겠냐? 그래서 돈 벌어서 나오면 지낼 집 하나 구하고 북에는 엄마 데리고 와야지. 또나 봐. 뭐 어디 가고 싶은 데라든지. 제주도. I don't know what that is. I was like, what if that's where they're at, Loki? Kale, the Jeju도 가 뭐냐? 몰디브 정도는 가 줘야지. 또도 한 잔하고. 뭐 있어? 안 봤냐? 몰라? 여기서 나가면 펌나게 돈 쓰는 법좀 배워야겠다. Damn, she genuinely forgot, huh? Yeah. 둘 다는 못 나가는구나. 내가 잘못했어 알리 내가 너 오해했어 근데 나 이렇게 죽... 내가 여기서 죽으면 우리 식구 다 죽어 미안해요 <웃음> 미안합니다 나도 가족 있습니다 너도 내 덕분에 여기까지 왔잖아 나한테 차별도 줬고 중단의 교내 작전 때문에 산 거고 밤새 같이 불집어드 서고 우리 조금 전까지만 해도 같이 여기서 나가기로 약속했잖아 아니야? 야 그러니까 제발 제발 내말한 번만 믿고 도와줘 Damn, how much was that bus ticket worth? This is... It's a little bit like a bus. It's a little bit like a bus. Don't worry about it. Is it gonna be five? Oh, I lost it. I lost a few times. He's got one more. Unless he wins, like... One more time. I lost it. I lost it. I lost it. Okay, clean stance. Do they have a line that you can't cross? Everyone's approach to this is so unique. Right. He's going underhanded. <laughs> oh, so he gets to take all the, all the ones on the ground. All the ones on the ground. This game is a rule. One person has to win all the other people. In 30 minutes, one person has to win all the other people. If you win and win, you have to win and win and win. You have to win and win. Then what do you do? You have to win and win. 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 Right? 네. 그럼 그때는 팀 대결로 가게 될 거야. 한 팀이 서로 구슬을 합쳐서 다른 팀이랑 스무 개를 걸고 승부하는 거야. Oh, he thinks that like you play the next team after. 한 팀으로 승부할 수 있어. 우리 둘다 같이 나갈 수 있어. If I'm Ali, I'm like, yeah, right, buddy. 414번 탈락. Yeah. And 네 손으로 나 저렇게 만들고 싶어? He's kind of twisted for asking Ali that. He won fair and square. 너 여기 전에 죽은 사람 본적 있어? 어릴 때 우리 마을에 전염병이 돌았어. 죽어 나갔는데 그때 우리 할아버지 할머니. Dang, dude, you're lying. 지나치게 딥한 사연이 많아. Yeah, she's like an emo girl. That's a bad joke, obviously, but you know. <laughs> but she's just been through it though. 처음 본 건. 우리 엄마였어. She piled on the eyeliner. I would not blame her. That's all I'm saying. 학교 때 집에 돌아오니까 엄마가 방 바닥에 누워서 죽어 있었어. 그 옆엔 아버지란 인간이 칼을 들고 서 있었고. 그 다음으로 본건 우리 아버지 시체. 그 옆에 칼을 들고 서 있던 건 나였고. 그 인간 직업이 목사였어. That's why she's so anti-religious. 엄마를 때리고 나한테 그 짓을 하고 나면 항상 기도를 했어. 우리 죄를 사하여들. 근데 엄마를 죽인 날은 기도를 안 하더라. 죄를 용서받지 못할 거 알았나? And her story wasn't dark. Pretty dark, bro. He's on Jock Sue's team. Jock, 잠깐만요, 잠깐만요, 자, hold. He gauges his reaction and try to change it. Oh my gosh. 뭐라고 했지? He might not even really have forgot. He might just be messing with you. Just see if he's being, being up. Judge you. Never tell me. But he still has a bunch of marbles. My girl always looking for a silver lining. 
정말 우리 같이 이길 수 있어요? 아니다 싶으면 거절해도 돼 그럼 내가 그때는 남은 구슬 한 개를 너한테 그냥 줄게 네가 나 죽였다는 죄책감 안 들게 계획 뭔데요? 그건 게임 상대가 누구냐에 따라 달라 일단 어떤 팀이 남게 될지 그것부터 알아야 돼 지금 시간 없으니까 빨리 흩어져서 다른 팀들 상황을 좀 살펴보자 아직 승부가 안난 팀들 중에서 나이가 어린 팀이랑 나이가 많은 팀들 찾아봐 나이요? 너처럼 젊은 사람들인지 아니면 50살 이상 된 사람들인지 That sounds like Eon Nam and them 넌 건너편 골목으로 가봐 나 반대편 팀들 살펴볼게 네형 How can you escape this? 그 주머니 그렇게 들고 다니면 위험해 오늘처럼 변할 텐데 무슨 일이 벌어질지 몰라 우리 이거 잃어버리면 끝이야 알지? 내가 가지고 다니게 안전하게 해줄게 Oh my gosh. Did he do that in a bad way? Oh, I mean, he oh, could. If I go here, what will I do? I don't think I'll do anything. I'm waiting for a night. I was 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 waiting for a night. I don't have to go to the house. I don't have to go to the house. She doesn't even want the money. She just wants somewhere to go. Do you want to go to Jeju? That's yeah. why she's just trying to friend everybody. She's just, she's just lonely. Oh my. I'll be honest, I feel like they kind of suck at this. This one's life or death right here, isn't it? Oh my gosh. What if he like knocks his in? Yeah. Wow. I don't know why I want Jack I feel like it's not going to make it. I know, right? Because he's a main character. No. It's going to hit that marble, isn't it? Ding. Oh. You got to go pick him up. <laughs> Doxu did it again. There I was, thinking he was bad. I thought he'd have manipulated his little ass and then given him a marble. He made him a quick necklace. He said three. He said odd. Well, yeah, odd, right? Stop. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Good thing it ain't his mom in there. He would have slapped her and took the marbles. I'm just giving him a hard time, but dang. He was pretty mean to his mom yeah. with that money, the gambling situation. Didn't love that. So he sent him on a goose chase, basically. Oh, my so he didn't have to like look at him. And he slipped the marble in there. Oh my oh That's his last three, right? And we saw him put it. It is like Survivor. Outwit, outplay, outlast. He outwitted him. How can you? Damn, Song Woo. Now let's do it. 
여기서 구슬을 던져서 저 벽에 가깝게 멈추는 쪽이 이기는 거야. Just one throw each. 새벽이야. 뭐가? 내 이름. 강새벽. 새벽. 너는? 지영. 성은. 없어? No, that's why she had a gong as her family 할까? name. 네가 먼저 해. 번호도 네가 빠르잖아. 구슬이 없어졌네. 어떡하지? 더 놀고 싶은데. 나 구슬 하나만 안 될까? 죄송합니다. 70번. Damn, this episode's impossible, 어, isn't it? 여기 이게 하나 있었네. 하나가 남았어. You think he was just like judging his character right there? Because he, he remembered he had one out of nowhere. Yeah, that's a good theory. That's what I'm saying. He might be testing him. Oh, that's not very close. Mm -mm. Maybe it's the first person to be nice to her. Maybe it's the first person to be nice to her. Maybe it's the first person to be nice to her. Maybe it's the first person to be nice to her. Maybe it's the first person to be 여기서 나가면 뭘 할까? 너가 물어본 다음부터 계속 생각을 해봤거든. 아무리 생각해도 생각이 안 나. She's so young though. 나가는 게 맞잖아. 그게 맞잖아. 꼭 살아서 나가. 엄마도 만나고 동생도 찾고. I hate this game. This one's tough. 제주도에 두고 가. 형. 형. Oh my god. 형 어디 있어? 상우 형, 나 보고 왔어요. 형, 상우 형. You think it's like just regular rocks in there? I feel betrayed. about you song will I don't know about you buddy they've been saying all game he's an intellect he uses his brain trade that man <웃음> 가진 전부랑 내가 가진 전부를 걸고 하는 거야. 그게 공평하잖아. Kind of hard for Jihan. He's winning. 이걸 다 걸으라고요? 그런 억제가 어디 있어요? He might have played the clock. He might be 거잖아. smart. 그럼 자네가 날 속이고 내 구슬 가져간 건 말이 되고? They were supposed to be no boo or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Gone boo. <웃음> Damn, they're competing for life and death, and Ilman sitting there freaking <laughs> tricking his ass, making him feel terrible about himself. Kajo, Janakoya. Women, Gambuzana, Kiogana, Gambukin, Nico Neko, Omnumway. Good one. Why is this his house, though? It's not, baby. He's just seeing things. I don't want to mess up this great moment, but I'm pretty sure what happened is he's pretending he's seen now. Like, oh, I'm looking for my house because he's just playing a trick on him. He was running the clock. Yeah. Because he was losing. To make it like, yeah. But I think he just wanted to teach him one more lesson before he goes. Yeah. And so that's why he played into it. Good. 
이름이 생각났어 일람이야 오 일람 I'm really glad we didn't have to see him get shot I know Damn, that was a hard one to get through, guys. All right, guys, so that was Squid Games, man. A couple things I want to say before I forget. So uh, it's a one-way telephone, first of all. So um, Jin Ho went in there, and he grabbed the telephone and tried to call out. And it turns out that phone has one purpose and one purpose only. It's for higher communications. And that phone is not to be tampered with in any other way. So I thought that part was really telling. Uh, it just goes to show how controlled the game is. Like the, the, per the guy with the geometric face is is not even in charge he's like yeah, listening to someone else yeah yeah he's the front man and this whole time i thought he was like the guy you know because he seems so sophisticated yeah he had like i don't know what well, what do you have like some scotch or something yeah he, he just had, looked like, like private a, quarters and all right. that stuff and he also seemed like he was very like he he seemed like he wanted to be like a sophisticate or something because he's over here like preaching all this philosophy and stuff and you so, know what it made me kind of sorry to interrupt you good, but you know please. what it kind of made me think about what um, you know, in Fallout, where there's like vaults, and like each vault kind of is controlled by one person, like in its own way. Right. And maybe this is their way of doing that. Like it's his, it's his own way mm -hmm. to do to run it or something. Yeah, maybe so. You think? Oh, you think maybe that's just what goal. he's got going on? Yeah, maybe they have a goal, right. and you have to figure out how to run your. I don't know. Maybe it's part of like an international thing. Yeah, maybe do you get what I'm saying? There could be one in America we don't know about. You know? Right. Yeah, so we really could have the catfish games. Yeah. So yeah, man. And then another thing that happened was they basically hung all the traders up for everyone to see. Well, I say traders, but they basically hung up everyone to see. Um, and the message there was basically these players here unfortunately contaminated this experiment, the social experiment. This experiment that relies solely on the promise that everything is gonna be is equal. Yeah, like he's really preaching the equity and stuff. So um that part was really telling. Because I don't think he hung him because of the organ thing. I think he just hung him because, you know, basically because he messed up the integrity yeah. of the game. And then we basically go into this old town that looked like just your average Korean neighborhood. Maybe like maybe it was supposed to be like a throwback to the older days because the older characters were saying that they grew up in a place. Yeah, like that. and it was older and they're also playing older games like even the young girl who passed. She said these are games for boomers. So, yeah, exactly. So it, it gave me the idea it was like an old Korean neighborhood, maybe a neighborhood that isn't as prevalent now as it probably is. Yeah. You know, just like in America, we used to have like more neighborhoods and now everything's now everything sort of feels like a little metropolis in a way. So um, so that was a really interesting concept. And I think the most heartbreaking thing was just the betrayal. The characters that we've really grown to love so much ended up ultimately betraying one another. And mm -hmm. You hate to think they're capable of it because you want to see the good in these people. You want to look at them as like victims in some way. But I guess when your life's on the line, you'll do some slimy things. Right. And mm -hmm. that's kind of what Song Woo did. He just outsmarted Ali. Like Ali uses like heart, whereas Song Woo uses brain. Right. And, you know, you could tell throughout this whole series, though, Song Woo's been a little disconnected. Remember? Yeah. Right. Right. Like he's really only looking out for himself in a way, but. I still don't understand why he decided to have all of his friends go in different lines early on. Remember? Well, well, he did that because he asked the girl that went into the thing. He knew what the game was going to be. Mm -hmm. And he just kind of was distancing himself from them. Like he didn't want to show him he knew, I guess. Right. I mean, I would have shared that with my boys. Y'all know what I'm saying? But, I would have been like, all oh, y'all need to get in the triangle line right now. Right. Like, come on, let's go. I I, I need y'all. Right. But, but I guess it just goes to show you just can't trust anyone. Man. Right. Like, when you really when your life and money is on the line. Yeah. For sure. And some, you know, and that song Wu was such a mystery to me. That's why I was like searching that note hard, but I can't read Korean. But I was trying to see who won like future ones if Song Wu was on there because maybe he's back or something because you know he's been going through a whole lot like and then his he had to put his mom's money on the line at, at this point so i don't know it, but then we had this whole conspiracy that the winners don't make it out yeah you know um and something else i was thinking like okay it might have not been ilnam's neighborhood but i feel like the people watching or there's someone watching right someone's watching and getting this out of entertainment well they've value. already they've already said that yeah but they're but being watched with the vip by the vips and stuff but i feel like it, that is making them like in a sick way happy like to trigger like people's memories before they die and stuff like it's a it's an entertainment thing that's what i was well, yeah say. i mean i definitely think there's some entertainment value for it for sure i don't know how much 
I don't know how much thought they put into that because the other games didn't really have anything to do with anyone's childhood. But well, I get what they you're were saying. just young people games. Yeah, that's true. I mean, old people games. Right. But they're definitely watching them because they even made the statement that the players who didn't return, they have eyes on them right now. So they're all being watched. The yeah. players didn't return, which makes sense. You can't take people to stuff like that and then not keep tabs on them. So, um, Ali just got done dirty, basically. Yeah, so dirty. So dirty. And it sucks because he was just a like sweet character with like a sweet little voice, a sweet little family. He got screwed. Basically, he was just young. I remember he, he even went to his boss and he's like, "Can I have my paycheck? Like y'all have never not paid me yet." And his guy was like, "Oh, whatever," and was playing solitary or whatever. And you know that that just sucks. Well, I feel like maybe he retaliated that day and it ended up really costing an injury. And I I feel like maybe that created a. Maybe that created some sort of like hesitation in him for that killer instinct. Mm. Maybe he just that could just be a whole psychological thing too. I mean, some people just deep down just don't have that killer instinct. Like some people don't really feel like they deserve it. You know what I mean? And Ali just seemed like Well, that that was the issue though. Song Woo gave him money, right? To get home. And that was kind of like Yeah, he said he planted that him. seed yeah, earlier. He, in that a way. was like bad for him in a way because he felt like he owed him something after that when he didn't even necessarily yeah. need it. He would have walked home, but well, at, you know, at the end of the day, he wasn't. What if that's what if that's part of the experiment too? Like when you release people, remember they released them in twos. Mm -hmm. So then you go like, have see if you can build a like relationship, a, like a bond. Yeah, yeah. yeah, maybe to make that particular challenge or whatever or that particular episode more entertaining. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because there was. Maybe there's like a narrator over the final product. Maybe they monetize it on the dark web. I, I don't know. I really don't know. It's just so crazy. The mentality, My theories are all over the place. Right. Me too. I have so many because of the show, but like the mentality of partner up, like, of course, me and you would be like, we have to, right? We would partner up. Right. But it's weird to think that maybe you should partner with someone you don't really know. Like that's, <laughs> that sucks. Cause now like any future endeavors of partners, you might pick someone you don't no and, and and that's what bothers me about the thing the uh the guy said the um the geometric face yeah he he was talking about how like this is supposed to be the front man right an equity utopia right where everyone has the exact same odds of winning and unlike real life you know there's not all these unforeseen circumstances that make it to where you can't succeed but the problem is that all sounds good but in the squid game there's still a hierarchy there's still someone in control who's pulling the strings who's manipulating your decision making like, how is it fair? At least in real society, you can, like, have an understanding of what you're getting yourself into. With this right here, it's completely up to chance. Like, they say, okay, grab a partner. and then, Well, not like, the first game, though. That was, like, that was not chance. You could have, like, red light, green light. That wasn't chance. Yeah, that, that one was, wasn't that chance. That was actually skill, like. But the next ones were chance. Because pick a shape, but you don't know what the game is. Right. So, I mean, maybe Well, now that I know that game, I know which shape to pick. <laughs> like if everyone would have been aware of the game, it would have been equal, but not everyone had that same equity. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It just seems like he's like contradicting himself. Yeah, I could be wrong. I'm not a philosopher or anything like that. I, I had a whole thought that maybe like the winner of this squid game would go to like another even bigger squid game. For more money. So damn, you're thinking this is like America's got talent over I, here. I'm just right? like I my theories of this show is just like everywhere. They're fun to speculate because yeah. how, how big you want to go, you know what I mean? Because we don't know. <laughs> so right. It's like it could just be as simple as they're on that island and he has one boss. I don't know. This could all be the fault of the United States government. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> we just who knows? don't know. But it was sad to lose who we lost this episode, of course. It really sucked. Um I just thought about something. When Il Nam got shot, did you see we him get see shot? It. We and have a we, we saw have, everybody else. We have a uh, a saying on this channel, and we need to put it on a t shirt for real. Uh, confirm your kills, people. Yeah, we learned that. Okay, okay. And where do we learn that? We learned that with Billy Loomis. I think that was the first yeah, time it really like yeah. it hit us. Like, bro, if you don't see him die on the camera, and another thing, if you got your man incapacitated and you got the dub, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and secure that dub by just putting one more. Whoopsh, shot into his head because but they I seem see, to never I know do that why we movies. didn't though also because Ji Hun didn't want to see it so we kept going so the cameraman was following the girl the girl didn't want to see the other girl and but so what she it. did was not Turn. I know that's what I'm saying but she didn't look at her and we saw Lee too right oh my gosh I feel like at that point the best you could do for that person uh if it, man I just feel like if Il Nam gives me those marbles you know what I mean and he's about to die the best you can do is not let him die long. Like, I would look, probably hold his hand. Look him in his eyes, man. Like, don't let the last thing he sees is you walking away from him. But that's just me. Uh, just a hard, Which hard episode. Which is crazy because 
me and you both have thought that he because he's player one we feel like he's just like up like he knew or he's done it before or something like that so not seeing him die is crazy <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying like i didn't want to see it just him die. leaves it wrong. leaves an opening for like a twist or something yeah. i know there's probably not a twist because we've there's been several times where the character died we didn't see the gruesome reality of it and then they're just dead you know that happens all the time but there's just something to it, guys, because we know that if you don't see someone die, it's serious. Well, it just happened. <laughs> Hopper. Hopper. <laughs> well, yeah, Hopper. And then it just happened with us again in Stranger Things with Max. Max died and everyone's going to go, what do you mean? Max is dead. She's brain dead. That's what the thing showed. But in my mind, I heard a theory that makes a lot of sense. Maybe her her conscience is trapped inside of the mind of Vecna. Mm. And so maybe that's why when um, Elle entered her mind, there was no sign of her. Yeah. So I, I, leave my, I leave my mind open to those things. Yeah. But I don't know. I don't know why on earth. That old man would get to survive. Everyone else got shot. You know what I mean? There's just there's just something, but this show Usually is Usually when the show doesn't show the kill, there's a reason. Yeah. And we've really come to learn that watching TV for sure. But we also show. have not watched many Korean films. Therefore, they might they might not like to do that. Maybe they just don't want us to see an old man go, go or something. I don't blame them. <laughs> And our TV shows in America, the old man is usually like stupid and wrong yeah. and has like wrong thinking and stuff, but it's good to see that in Korean media, they honor their elders for sure. Right. So that's a good thing. Um, guys, that was just a lot of fun, man. I don't really have too many more theories. Like I said, I got a lot of questions. I feel like I feel like Jin Ho's done stumbled into the junk over right, there. Right, but okay, what, what, what was the last scene we saw of him? He just was done. He's hiding. Him. Yeah, yeah he, okay. he's hiding in the office, and okay. we don't know what's going on with him. But, but he had uncovered so much. Like it sucks that he happened to take the person thing that was involved in the organ stuff. Right. But that's also good because maybe they'll look for him, but not so hard. Right. But another thing that troubled me though is the amount of winners and how far that catalog went back. Mm -hmm. Dude, this place has been going on for a long time. They've been doing this for a long time and they've been getting away with it. They're for a so long time. discreet. Well, they're also very well practiced. Yes. Like if you notice the uh the participants, um, not the people who are going to die, but, you know, the. Um, why am I having such a hard time? The soldiers? Out? Yeah, like the soldiers and the. I just call them the shape faces. OK, so the the shape faces, they're just very well organized and they just know exactly what to do. Like they're in practice. So and the, their life's on the line with it, too, though. So maybe that's why. That's, that's what I'm why saying. they, they, they abide be... by the rules, because if. Like, for example, Triangle will probably tell all the circles, like, don't play around because that's my life and your life. Or I don't know that much about the financial situation of South Korea. I mean, they're not struggling that bad, are they? Not. I mean, the I, show's I, making it seem like they're just like everyone's just doing everything for money. And I mean, maybe that's true, but like no, I, I said, think they're picking like certain ones, though. Like they have to be ideologues or something, right? Right. And they, when they're watching them, they're probably just seeing who's going to go looking for them or not. Or something like oh, that. Oh, so you think there may be finding people who like like that girl would have been a good candidate maybe to join because she was she an was illegal alien. Dude. No, that and one she didn't girl, have anybody. Say Biak too, mm -hmm. and the other girl who got out of jail. She didn't have a family to look for. Like right. they're pick and Ji Hun. I feel like I feel like he's kind of the oddball because I feel like, but that guy did just try to pay him off to never see his daughter again. So they could easily be like, I paid him off to never see the daughter again. So they could not even look for him, you know? I was wondering, why couldn't Jihan took that money and then just been like, what money? Right, but I think it <laughs> was know, integrity like, for him. He was like, I'm not about to get paid off by stepdad. You're wiling. Right, but the integrity thing comes into question when you're sitting there lying to an old man. I get that, too. I get you that get what too. I'm saying? Well, I guess, like, I guess the, re the reality is, is hard situations would breed hard circumstances. So maybe it's one thing to not take someone's dirty money when you're just standing there and you have your freedom. But when you're locked up and someone's about to put them bullets in you, it's, you know, it's completely different. We'd all like to think that we're not Jihan. You know what I mean? It's really easy to be like, man, why would you lie to an old man? Or why would why would Song Wu lie to Ali like that? But man, but who the hell knows? Like images his of his family. daughter are probably popping you, up. You like, know what I mean? So it's just we're definitely not judging. It's just unfortunate. It's unfortunate. Yeah, it, just the situation. it just sucks. Basically, like it sucks that you get entered into this world where it's, it you don't think it's life or death. You think you're playing for money, but you've signed your body over, which sucks. But you know. You don't know it's that serious. You just are playing this game. So we see a lot of stuff from South Korea, uh, especially because of her, because you watch so much food content and stuff like that. And, you know, we watch we watch all of it. And we baby. eat Korean barbecue sometimes. You know okay? what I'm saying? But 
I guess what we see on these YouTube videos and stuff, and I guess I see a lot of, I mean, probably not as much as you guys, cause you probably watch like K dramas and stuff, but it seems like everyone seems to be doing okay. Like it doesn't seem like somewhere where there's like vast, well, vast amounts of well, poverty Well, Jihun kind of said, Jihun kind of put it to where there's some negativity there. Whereas well, I mean, I'm sure they were, is. remember they just came in and fired all the automotive people. So he got screwed in the end. Um, and then he happened to see someone die, like because of the protests or whatever. I've seen some stuff from like, uh, from like the Philippines, for example, where I thought to myself, okay, yeah, if that was my financial reality, there's probably a lot of things that would be worth the risk to try to earn like an economic opportunity for my family. But I don't know, man, they're going through some hell for not a lot of money. Yeah. But I guess to them, it is a lot of money, but yeah, I mean, you also have to consider it's their economy as well. So like we can't. 3000 for us, that might be hard to get slapped in the face for, but just because, like... My whole thing is, even if you're going to give me $100 billion to do that, and I could win the money and potentially set my kids up with $100 billion, $100 billion is going to make my kids pieces of shit. Like, right. They're going to be terrible that, people if they have that much there, money. I feel like if you win that much money, there's a target on your back. Well, Not only by the government, because they know how much money you got, so they're going to tax you, but on top of that, you're just probably, like looked at as someone who you can rob or whatever. Well, that would definitely create like a disparity between you and the average citizen, especially yeah. if there's a lot of like inequalities in that way. But well, the point that I was trying to make is I guess maybe they're not competing for, you know, that much money. So my example probably doesn't hold weight, but I mean, even if it was for like a, a handsome amount of American money, say it was like 800 grand, I could buy the house. I, dude, if it's I can't- 33 million, the final prize. In, yeah, our, but, uh, in our currency in our currency 33 mm -hmm. million mm -hmm. but see that's what i'm saying like even if i won 800 grand 33 million that's like survivor 33 times right it's really not worth it because if i'm dead because i got shot and i don't win the money who's gonna teach my kid to be like but here's the issue person? you don't know that you're going in there to die <laughs> they came back <laughs> no. they chose to come back yeah Oh, true. They chose to come true back. That. That's the whole. But maybe they have this false reality that they can just play these little kids. That's why the first one was so like, la, la, la. Like, you can you can win that because if you can't stop when they say stop, what are you doing? So maybe they started with something like that to mess with them mentally. So they're like, OK, you could, anyone could win this. I don't know. That's a good that's a good excuse for them. But I still just can't get over the fact that they chose to come back to this. Like what is. It's just hard to imagine anything being worth that, you know, like you can't put a price on like just being there for your kids like that's valueless. Like you can't put a price tag on that. So all the money in the world. I mean, you see that like you see rich kids all the time. Celebrities kids. They look crazy and yeah. they just act and look and they just they're sometimes it's not. It's like they're not even people in a way like they're so, so far complex, displaced. So yeah, this is a complex like I, and that's why I'm thinking it's an experiment of some sort because it just has you thinking so many different things all at once. Like your morals get questioned. You a lot of things. So I, I just think the show is really good, honestly. Oh, it's a phenomenal show, yeah. man. It's it, it's one of those shows that the I'll be honest with you guys, man. If I didn't have to watch this for YouTube, I'd be done with this show. Yeah. I, I, we'd have watched the show in two days. Yeah, this is too good. I just can't do that. I can't binge it because like I spent like how many hours did we edit on it the last two days? We both edited like, like nine hours straight, maybe. So I've been on my computer personally for like 12 hours today and it's not good for me. So I'd love to watch more, but dude, I have to have like a mental reset because mm -hmm. I get kind of brain dead after looking at my And not TV only that, like I just feel emotionally drained by that one. That one was, that one was heartbreaking. If there's any more like that where you have to be one-on-one -on -one with somebody and you have to play a simple game and uh, it hurts. I mean, I know I didn't cry on this one, but look guys, I'm telling y'all, it was emotional. And there's going to come a moment where I look at myself in the mirror and I realize I'm getting a gut and I'm going to start feeling fat. So I'm just going to start crying. <laughs> and uh, I'm just letting y'all know, man, I'm going to be emotional about a toaster later. I'm be, you're going to be like, honey, what is wrong with you? Why are you crying over, over toast? Usually, you know, when I cry the most, like for real, for some reason, when the camera's on and I'm alive and they're, you know what I'm saying? People I know are watching. So it's <laughs> weird. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's kind of like. Yeah, my mom has to see you. Cry. Well, as a dude, I don't like to cry. So if I do cry on the channel, man, it's just because Hi, mom. it's not only just because the show was sad. Like I could watch the saddest thing in the world and not necessarily cry. It has to be like, well, like thunder meets lightning in a way. Like I have to not only think something's in incredibly good and sad. It has to have like the perfect music behind it. 
And not only that, like I just have to, for some reason, just be in a crying mood. So if all those elements just happen to come together, Coincide. then I definitely let it go. For me, it just has to be sad. <laughs> yeah, she's she's just an empath. Like for that. me, it has to be either slightly sad or about a dog. <laughs> well, I feel like if I was as emotional as you, then we would be an unstable household. So yeah, I'm glad one of I... us has to be non-emotional. Okay? Absolutely, that's just the truth. Uh, but when I watch these shows back in editing, that's when I definitely tear up the most for sure. Right. I feel like my reactions to my edits are better than <laughs> my reaction to the show. Cause my reactions to the edits are the same. <laughs> no, yeah. I'm still crying. I don't know why. We put on like, after we've seen something like four times, we'll just like finally put it out on YouTube and then someone will just say, Oh, love this part. And they'll timestamp it. And then we'll go in there and then she'll be over there crying. Just having a <laughs> sob fest over a clip. That. We've seen 30 times, <laughs> but I love her. Uh, Guys, that was just a lot of fun, man. I'm just not really wanting to leave yet because I'm just having a good yeah. time. So I'm just blabbering a lot. But that was Squid Games. We got to get some calamari. I think we should get some calamari soon. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. Don't hate me. I had some calamari and I was like, <laughs> so I spit it out. I couldn't chew it. Bro, she yeah. says like it I was said, raw. Like, it might have been raw. I'm yeah, not sure. Well, no, you ate octopus. Like, that's not even the same. Oh, yeah. It's not the octopus games. That is true. <laughs> Wait, it's the Squid Games. Yeah. Like, I'm telling you, calamari when cooked right is delish. I believe it. I believe it. Octopus cooked right ain't worth the damn. Oh, so guys, we said your favorite Korean snacks, but comment below just your favorite Korean foods in general because we like like for example we like like bulgogi and stuff. We we enjoy that because we we eat Korean barbecue sometimes. You really like Korean chicken. I'll be honest with you guys, man. I like chicken, rice, vegetables. He likes general. Okay, his That's thing like. is general sows, and if you go to Panda Express, he likes the honey sesame. So if there's anything, I don't go to Panda Express. Okay, I hate but Panda we get Express. the sauce from pa we, the Panda we've been Express to Panda sauce. Express once, and we said we'd never go back. Right, but we have the sauce at okay, home because okay, okay, okay. he likes it. So ignore that. So he likes that sauce. It's honey sesame. So comment below if there's anything like general sows, honey sesame flavored, because we're looking for more of that. I just don't exactly know. I like to go to just any type of Chinese uh, chicken place. And just get the general so and just try it because I just love it. I don't know why. I just love it. Yeah, he it's likes, just the best it, flavor in the world. I heard it's like all the flavors. It's like all of them. It was, yeah, it was created by general. So he took, <laughs> he took every flavor of the palate and, and like, mixed it together. And it is the greatest taste. I can't if you have never tried general right so now. chicken, go have some because it really is the bomb. But you got to get it with like the little baby carrots and all that stuff in it. And you got to get it with the baby corn, the carrots, the peas, the broccoli. Uh, I like it with some cabbage in it. Just anything, <laughs> really anything. A little soy sauce in the rice. You don't really want to overdo it when it comes to the general so. But at the same time, you got to have a lot of tangy sauce, man. Tangy <laughs> sauce is where it's at. Right. Damn. Man, you got me kind of hungry. I know. I'm, I'm about to go eat right now. I'm about to go to my kitchen and go pull me out some calamari and eat it. <laughs> That's what I'm about to do. Uh, guys, it doesn't have to be Korean snacks. Because if you're like me, we don't live in Korea. So we don't have as many Korean snacks. No, but they see. do have this one thing. They do. Korea yeah. has this like shrimp crackers. Want to try that? Because I was going to get some Korean snacks just for the occasion, but I was looking at my Publix and I was like, you know what? Actually, we don't really go to Publix. We go to Ingles, but our Ingles got closed down. Lately. Because of, because, okay, guys, sorry to bring North Carolina. Up. I don't yeah, know if you know, the but hurricane. the whole entire East Coast over here and kind of got jacked up. So the supply lines have been down. So we've been having to go to Publix. Uh, yeah, man. And the snacks there, the Korean snacks were just very basic and generic. I no, think. Well, they're better than Ingles. Ingles doesn't even have any. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us and watching the Squiddly Diddly games. The Squiddly Diddly do. Um, I don't know, man. Where do we go from here? I'm still trying to figure out what now exactly. Now I'm going to be heartbroken because there's going to be missing characters and I'm just going to have to be. And only like on the good side. Right. Like I said, the only thing that I'm really having a big question with so far, and I'm really hoping that I'm not supposed to know. So I, that way I don't have to feel dumb. But Obviously, there's all these characters working together to dispose of the bodies and incinerate them. Yeah. A certain fragment of the body is taking blood and putting crosses on coffins because these are candidates to harvest their organs. Well, they're alive. Oh, they're they all... nail it. Oh, if you're, if you're alive? So, that, oh, so they so... know, throw it down below and don't burn it. So that way, okay, so if you're alive. So is there a certain organ that you can only harvest if someone's alive? Well, he was, he was kind of saying, like, they're the most, like, precious. They're untampered. But the guy was saying, like, this is hard. Y'all are I mean, I know the minute patients. you die and your organs stop getting blood pumped through them, like, you have to get them, I don't want to say refrigerated, but you know what I mean? You have to get them stored. Uh, I only know that because I used to be a werewolf. But um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, and so I just don't understand why are some players in on it, or not players, but why are some of the triangle faces or circle faces in on it and others aren't? To make money. They have a direct line with China. They have a direct line with China. That's why they had scuba diving gear and all that underground stuff. 
because they did it. They're making money on the side. Right, but you don't think that the game master knows that? No, he doesn't. He even said he didn't. He didn't know. Yeah, but how could you have all that infrastructure and be using it? And well, that's it, why he shot him. He was pissed because he. I was under the impression that he shot him, not really because of that, because he said, "I don't really care what y'all are doing there. If y'all want to fuck off, fuck off." But what I don't understand is why are you messing with the integrity of the game? That's just how I took it. I could be wrong. Right. I mean, maybe he doesn't. They want can't that be either. doing that stuff anyways. It's breaking his rules. So he, I think he just was a little like he knows that stuff was getting out there. Like the Chinese people now know what they're doing. Yeah, that makes sense. That yeah, I mean, sense. that's what I think, but I could be totally wrong and you could be totally right. But but I guess what I'm trying to like to further my point, I'm just trying to understand, like, what is the hierarchy, though? Like, if you're one of the people in your job is to get the bodies off the ground and incinerate them, what separates me from you? If you know, like, what, how do I get in the I want to sell the organs club? I think like, what's the, the initiation I think that club that? was just triangle head was like, this is what y'all about to do. We can make some extra money because. I think the question of that is how much the question I have there is how much do these people get paid to have to be making mo side money? Like probably not a lot or at all. Well, that's what I'm trying to say. If the penalty is death, like why would you even do it? Well, I think like, maybe they thought they would get away with it or something. So you think they're basically just prisoners there also in a way, mm. but if they're prisoners there, then what the hell do you need money for? Exactly. <laughs> like, I don't know. Home, like, how are you maybe sitting at home? home? You don't got a bank account. But maybe to send home, I don't know. But but they are money but of there? they are earning money somehow because he said he only got paid half because the guy tamp they had to get people with that were shot in the head and stuff. I get what you're saying, but all I'm saying is there's definitely some points that could be answered there for sure. Maybe I just missed something. I don't know. Uh, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, hit us on uh, Patreon if you guys want to see the full uncut. And we'll be back with some more. Oh, we, hey. oh, we have one more watch because we're going to do all three. Because the next two episodes are short. There's like, no, it's two hours or it's an hour, then another hour. And then like 30 minutes. Yeah, one, one of, of them is like 30 minutes. 30, so we're just going to. So. Which I don't understand why is there a 30 minute episode. I'm actually super excited to see it. I'm intrigued mm. by it only because this one just stands out because it is so short. So yeah. maybe that one's just going to be 30 minutes of just. Straight information, hopefully. <laughs> you would imagine they would at least. That's one. That's why I'm excited to see it. I mean, you would imagine they would just make it longer. All the episodes before the finales are always great to me because they build up to finales. So they might not have the big blow that the finale has, but they definitely give you like what you need to know before the finale, and that's why I like them. Yeah, finales are great. No, number episode before the finales are great to me. I don't have to boohoo. I can learn stuff. <laughs> Except for in Game of Thrones, then you're screwed. Oh, I see what you're saying. A lot yeah. goes down right before the finale because they really got to get you up to speed for what they're about to show you. Yeah, but in Game of Thrones, they threw that off for everybody just to screw with them. Yeah, they did. Yeah. yeah they did. All right, guys, we'll see you on the next one.